back pain yes. for how long ma for more than 11 years more than 11 years yes even last last month i received injection 242 in this hospital 242 yes and i'm still receiving see here did you hear that 242 injections in one body so one person receiving it in a month 242 injections what does what does that tell you what does that tell you 242 injections in one body one person receiving it it means as you are going to work this woman is waking up taking her bath going to the hospital i even have to check i have to bring a calculator to check 242 divided by 30 days 8.3 that means every day this woman is receiving eight injections in her body you know i've even asked the question why is it that they can't join the eight and just give her a single dose of injection into her body why you know splitting it into eight you know, eight needles entering a human being's body every day every day i'm going to play that video once again so that you will get a full grab of what i'm trying to say 242 injections in a month and she has been suffering for this for the past 11 years you know you can imagine the funds that have, that have entered the funds the you know finances that have entered into this 242 injections i just wanted to watch that video i have something to actually bring out from there you know you may be doubting just the way i'm actually somehow doubting and i may be thinking 242 injections in a month for a sickness she has suffered for 11 years watch that video let's watch that video so you will get a full grab of what i'm saying this woman too who is this back pain, back pain. yes for how long ma for more than 11 years more than 11 years yes even last last month i received injection 242 242 yes and i'm still receiving see here for back and madam and then down to my leg here, knee. Was, um, now, we didn't plan to take testimonies, but you see, God, God knows that some people need this for their okay. faith. Yes, sir. Huh? Madam, 200 and... 243, just okay. I lost count. Because every day they will give me four, yeah? Until then she lost my count. My two hands, they can still see the sign of the intravenous injection. My dear, my leg. That's a, a, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. My dear... Osha, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, 242 injections. This is, this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. Amen. I decree and declare, be healed now. Amen. Madam, look at me. Bend over slowly. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Bend again. Bend again. Any pain. Bend again. Look at what is happening to her. Your legs. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Look at me. Lift your leg. No, no, no. Watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Do it. Take it easy. Watch what I'm doing. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman? Now walk, madam. Walk. Try to walk. Just twist while you are walking. Any pain? Look at what is happening to her. My goodness. What is happening to you, madam? Look at. Ah, look at this. Look at this. I'm still seeing God bless you, madam. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. You know, she said 242 until she lost count. That means she has been receiving more until she lost count. You no, know, but what's my point in this video? What's my point? We have complained much. Some of you, you've not even visited the hospital for the past how many years? You've not had any challenge of you've not had any issue of taking parastamol you've not had any challenge of spending any money in a pharmacy or in a chemist or in a hospital but we keep complaining we keep complaining we keep complaining 
It's actually time to thank God. You know, the scripture says in Thessalonians, in all things, in everything, give thanks to God. For this is the will of God. What is God's will? God's will is that we keep thanking him. His, his will is not to put us in issues or in challenges, but his will is that we keep thanking him. You know, just use this as a, a case study. Imagine what this woman is receiving. For past 11 years, look at what she's suffering. But we keep complaining to God. We keep com And she, she came to thank God. She's here to thank God. Thank you for this healing. Thank you because I've, I've not, I've, I'm not dead. Thank you because the devil has not swallowed me up in this challenge. The devil has not swallowed me up in this sickness. She came to thank God and received her healing. But here you are. Day after day, we keep complaining because of one challenge or the other. It's actually time for you to thank God. You can write in the comment section, thank you, Jesus. Just bring out your heart and say, Father, thank, thank you for my life, for good health. Even if you are suffering, even if there is sickness in your body, it is not to the tone of what we are seeing or to the tone of so many challenges we've seen on earth. Some people have been in coma for night. I know there is one man, there is one prince that have been in coma for 19 years. 19 years he has been in coma coma 19 years but here you are you go about your daily business it is time to thank god every day should be for thanksgiving every time should be for thanksgiving every hour should be for thanksgiving open your mouth and say thank you jesus you can write in the comment section thank you jesus you can drop it anywhere and say thank you jesus father i thank you thank you for my life thank you for my present help Thank you for where I am today. I know you hear of a truth God is taking you higher above. He, he will even answer all those your problems. He will answer all those questions, all those things, you, all those points you have, you've been praying about. God will answer. But for now, thank him. Thank him. Give him thanks. The world is so deceitful that we keep looking at what God has not done. Instead of focusing our minds on the millions of things he has been doing for us, the things we don't even know he has been doing. A songwriter says, count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Father, I thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my health. Thank you for every. Thank you for where I'm staying now. I know you are taking me to a better place. I know you are taking me to 242 injections. Let that ring in your head. 242 injections. In all your life, you may not have even received this, that this woman received in a month. 242 injections. She received it in a month. In all your life, you may not have gotten up to this. But she received it in a month. And she came with a heart of thanksgiving. Thanking God for saving his life, for keeping her, for saving her life, for keeping her alive. Father, I thank you. Thank you. Just take the remaining few minutes that you have and thank God. You can just before you get into another video, say thank you, Jesus. That few seconds, say thank you, Lord. This is God's will for us that we thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is God's will for us that we thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Apostle Paul says, Who can deliver me from this body of death? Oh, wretched man that I am. Who can deliver me? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy is endured forever. No, we need to give thanks unto God continuously, continuously, continu in every condition. Just thank God. Thank God, for he is God. 